The prince's itinerary includes visiting Lagos, the commercial capital of the country. He arrives at the Murtala Mohammed International Airport in Ikeja. On ground to receive him is the deputy governor of the whole state, Idiata Dibuli, and her team. The convoy moves to the naval dockyard. The parade announces his arrival. The British and Nigerian navies have over the years collaborated in the area of training and security. The royal visitor is all too familiar with activities on the sea, as he himself is a former naval officer. Perhaps the visit to the Navy is a strong statement of reinforced collaboration on security on Nigeria's territorial waters and insecurity in the Northeast. Um, knowing where the Nigerian Navy uh, took off from, as an upshot of the Royal Navy, um, and the importance the war attaches to the maritime environment, um, His Royal Majesty visited uh, to see for himself the progress being made uh, through the cooperative um, uh, support that the Royal Navy and the uh, British government has been giving Nigeria. Um, we were able to demonstrate some of those capabilities to him. Um, perhaps this will as for the government to um, support the Navy, both uh, materially and um, in other areas of um, capacity building. Um, if the maritime uh, space is not well policed, of course, we know that uh, the livelihood of Nigerians depends on the sea. And so our effort is to ensure that we police this uh, sea area and allow um, free uh, trade uh, so that um, Nigerians' lives will be better off, basically to ensure that um, prosperity remains with our people. Prince Charles' visit to Lagos also coincides with the ninth edition of the Lagos Photo Festival at the British Council office in Ikoyi. The Lagos Photo is a month-long festival of photography showcasing curated photo exhibitions. Prince Charles arrives to a warm welcome by Yoruba dance troupe. He's eulogized in a traditional way defeating royals. Charles meets with members of the creative industry, spending time to interact with them all. Yeah, 
Well, I, I first of all respect the fact that he salutes the work that the creative industry has done to add to what Nigeria has become. So for me, first of all, it's good that you respect what they're doing, whether it is here or it's across the world. And I think that it is a boost because it shows that you identify with what we have become as a force, you know, whether in Nigeria or whether it's the Nigerian demographics or the Ghanaian or the Africans in the diaspora, basically. And um, it's it's an industry that you cannot ignore. It's an industry that has been thriving of our own will. And it just makes a lot of sense that he did what he did to them. We are appreciative of that. Well, he did mention that he'd be keen on getting a, a package that shows what our films are like so that he can get to watch it. And I remember Alex Okuba mentioned to him that we also have films on Sky and we chipped in that if he ever gets the time to see it, he can. But we're all obviously going to send him a package. And we'll well, I mean, he was quite curious about, um, you know, education, about the arts. And it was interesting um, to hear him talk about the decay of fine art education in their, in their, you know, educational system. And he was trying to find out how that was in our institutions. And I can see he's quite passionate about the visual arts. I know he's a painter. Yes, he paints. <laughs> you know, so, um, yeah, I mean, that was really the main... Apart from, I mean, he's such a polite, interesting chap, you know. I think he's, he's quite professional at this. The man is an institution. He's a prince of Wales. You know, um, coming to Nigeria is an endorsement of the country, you know. That's a lot of goodwill for what is what. It's good to have found myself in close proximity with the man to shake his hands. These are oracles of history. Yeah. Um, he just asked us what Nollywood was all about, what how we helped in the industry, and we told him how movie um, brings uh, music, fashion, food together. Like, we played the, the soundtracks, we use films, we use people's um, chefs, we use... Um, designer clothes on our, mo in our on our movie sets and all that. Then we also told him how um, Nollywood is the second biggest uh, industry, film industry in the world. First is Bollywood, then Nollywood. So we told him that, we told him how we enjoy what we do, how we are being um, noticed in the diaspora, everywhere, and how people love our movies and love our, our tradition. He said he has heard so many things about it, but we were telling him how people love our movies and how people love our tradition. And he asked us if we spoke pidgin English, and we said yes. We told him one or two things about speak, um, one or two things in speak, um, pidgin English, and he he laughed and he enjoyed it, and he said he said he said the words too. Day three, the Prince of Wales is back in the federal capital territory, Abuja. This time to visit the Commonwealth War Graves Commission at the National Military Cemetery. He performs the wreath laying ceremony. The ceremony is in remembrance of Nigerian servicemen who died in the First and Second World Wars. History records that about 1,000 Nigerian servicemen deployed in the British force at the First World War that spanned between 1914 and 1918 lost their lives, just as over 1,000 died in the Second World War that took place from 1939 to 1945. Prince Charles uttered no words at the solemn occasion. We remember with gratitude the service in Burma of the Chief of Army Staff's father, Al-Haji Yusuf Buratai, who passed away only this year. But also the many others in the Nigerian military today whose fathers and grandfathers served and often gave their lives in countries very far from here. It is appropriate that as we work today in partnership with Nigeria to address her own national security challenges, that we remember Nigeria's contribution and sacrifice in both world wars. After his three-day tour in Nigeria, the Prince of Wales and his wife, the Duchess of Cornwall, 
keep up the country to other African nations to complete the nine-day tour.